This is a DLP printer from AlphaWise, the double V10 low-cost resin 3D printer. This machine can get you amazing prints and its price is around 240 euros. This is an LCD-based printer that is using UV light to solidify a resin and by that create a 3D object. The resolution of this LCD will give the resolution of the print. In this case the LCD is 800 by 54 by 480 pixels. So in this video I'll open the box for this printer and see what we have, get it ready and make some tests and see the final results. So if you are interested into a low cost DLP printer, stick around and let's see this review. This printer could get a little bit messy, so make sure you use gloves all the time and always wash your hands after you work with this printer. I will show you how to set it up, how to prepare the print, how to cure the final part and also stick around if you want to see the amazing details of the final print. Make sure you subscribe and activate the notification bell and also consider supporting my work on Patreon. So let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. In this video we'll take a look at this AlphaWise double V10 DLP printer. This printer uses UV light and a mask made with an LCD to create the layers of our 3D object. When you receive this box you will have inside two parts. One part will have the printer metal body. The other side will have the acrylic parts for the top part of the printer, a bottle of resin so we could make some tests, a small plastic bag with some accessories, a print removal tool, the power supply, the cable for that power supply and finally the printing plate. So this is all that you will get inside of the box when you receive the AlphaWise double V10. Inside of that plastic bag you will have some gloves, some kind of fabric, some plastic cards which I don't know what are for, some glue tape, the SD card with some examples, and finally some tools and 3 elastic bands. Ok so first step I remove all the paper on the acrylic parts. Peeling this is a little bit boring, but for some people this is relaxing. So now that I have all the parts, I make the top cover of the printer. But there is no glue, so everything is held in place with those 3 elastic bands. So that's a little bit strange, it doesn't look too strong. Anyway, we have seen all the parts inside of the box, the acrylic parts, the resin bottle, the power supply and all that we need and also we have the protective cover of the printer. So it's time to prepare the first print. So connect the power supply and plug it into the printer. Then turn it on using the on and off switch on the back of the machine. You will get the first menu on the display. Now go into settings and select movement and lift the printing axis a few centimeters. Now make sure you untie the screws of the printing support. And also make sure it could move with no friction. Now place that support on top of the axis and tie the top screw so it won't move. Now go back into settings again and now select the zero button. So that will home the axis. Now make sure that the printing support is flat onto the printer and now you could tight pack the screws of the support and the printer is now leveled. Ok guys so from now on make sure that you use the gloves and protect yourself from the uncure resin. So now lift the axis again and we could pour some resin into the bath. Don't fill it too much, just to cover the printing plate should be enough. So close the bottle and store it well. Now insert the SD card that you get with the printer because it has some examples on it. Now go to file on the menu and select any example. My first print was the beetle example, so select that and the print will start. But make sure you cover the printer with the protective cover, because this won't let the external UV light to enter. The first few layers will take around 1 minute, but then each layer will take just a few seconds. You can see the printing process on the screen, but also a photo with the printed object. Once the print is ready it will get up and you could now remove it. So untie the top screw and remove the plate, but you should wait for some resin drops to fall back into the bath. So here we have the print upside down. Remove it from the plate using the removal tool. Remember to cover back the printer to protect the remaining resin. 
Now you should grab some alcohol that you could buy from any drugstore. Now clean the excess resin with the alcohol and you will see even better details. Once the print is clean, you have to cure it. You could just place the print under direct sun for a few minutes. Or just use a UV flashlight, like this one. So after a few minutes, the part is strong and cured. And now we could touch it without the gloves. So guys, it's time to see some printing results. And that will decide the quality of the printer. So just let the print speak for itself. First, as I said before, I've made the beetle example. This print turned out very good. But this object doesn't have too many details. So this is not the best example for the capabilities of this printer. So for that, the next example I've printed the zombie hunter face. The print process was around 3 hours. But the level of details is amazing. The print is very very small, just a few centimeters. But even so this looks great. We can see the details of the eyes, the lines of his beard, the face expression and all other smaller details. So compared with FTM prints, this is a lot better. By the way, on the SD card that you receive, you will find the slicing software for this printer. So install that software and open a print file. You could scale it or add supports if you want. So once the print is ok, go to the slicer and slice the part. You could then see each layer of the print. Now go to save the file and place that code to the SD card. Now insert that into the printer and select print. And the next print was this demon body. This print really turned out great. The level of details on the face of this demon is very good. Now this is a fill print and it will use a lot of resin. With DLP printers you can set the infill percentage as you could do with the FDM printers. So you must hollow the object before printing. So for example this hunter head is hollow. And you can see the holes below the print. So you should use any editing software that you have to hold the object and by that you can save some resin. So for now I'm very glad with the print quality. I just wanted to test a different resin from another printer. I have this transparent green resin from another DLP printer from FL Sun. But for that first you should take one of the filters you receive with the printer. Now open the resin bottle and place the filter on top and empty the remaining resin back into the bottle. Now close this and store it. Now I clean this bed and I pour some new different resin. I sliced a different object for this test. First I've made the spiral tower because this is a very common test for TLP printers. This is a field print as well. But the details are very good. We can see the details for the small bricks and the small window on top of the tower. But have in mind that this part is very small. Here we have a coin for scale. A final test was this sphere that I've made with other DLP printers as well. And I think this is a very good example of the print quality of the printer. The sphere turned out great and it has very thin segments and also small support. So using a different resin will also work. But you might want to check the wavelength the resin needs in order to work. So guys these were the prints for now. And I hope you made a general idea of the quality of this printer. The case is made out of metal and it uses just one step motor to lift the Z axis. It has a printing volume of 98 by 55 mm and a height of 140 mm. The LCD has a resolution of 854 by 480 pixels. Homing the printer is very easy and fast. The display is minimal. But you can see the configurations, you could move the axis and see the printing process. And it's also a touchscreen. You can also see the object photo when you are printing in order to know which is the print that you selected. The fan of this printer is a little bit loud compared with other printers. I don't like the acrylic cover. It is a little bit loose with elastic bands. And that makes this printer look a little bit cheap. But in general I have good prints with this printer for only 240 euros. That's a very low cost DLP printer. The price for the resin that I've used is around 28 euros for a bottle of 250 milliliters. So the price has lowered a lot compared with a few months back. Because I remember this bottle to be around 100 euros. In the box you also receive a spare film from the printing bed in case that you damage it. You also get the filters, you get the gloves as well, but you might want to buy some more because these are for only one use. So guys this was my review of the Alphawise double V10 DLP printer. I had some great results 
and I hope that you like it too. I can't say the long term quality of this printer because I've only used it for a few prints, but I hope it won't give me problems. And I also hope that you made a general idea about this printer. If you like this video, consider subscribing. And if you learn something new, click the like button as well. And also consider supporting me on Patreon. So thanks again and see you later guys.